grand rising, my beautiful friends, or grand evening, wherever it is when you're seeing this. I wanted to just shout out to you guys, say hello. This is Raw Vibrant Rejuvenation. My name is Kyle, and I want to show you how I roll in Mexico, uh, being pretty much mostly fruitarian. It's a lot harder to get uh, good quality, you know, organic vegetables out here. So I've been mostly fruit for uh, the, the whole time I've been here. So I wanted to sh share that with you. Um, also wanted to share that I'm on I'm on Rumble now, and my name there is Raw Vibrant Health. Um, all one word. So yeah, just in case you know they keep trying to shut me down. Uh, I've been keeping it really cool for the last year and stuff, and I have always, you know, talked in code and stuff, but uh, that, you know, the Google conglomerate corporations, they don't sometimes like with, uh, you know, when the truth is, is uh, spoken, you know? So, yeah, if you're new here, um, I, like I said, my name's Kyle. I just talk about healing of all types. Um, mind body soul emotional all of it clearing the pain bodies and helping you to embody that fullness of you that full setting of you which is pure love and i want you to be able to embody that at all times and so yeah if you need help with your health uh, like i said i'm a detoxification specialist uh, you can shoot me an email, rawvibranthealth at gmail.com. I'm glad to assist. I'm glad to uh, point you in the right direction or even just answer some questions or anything. I just love to be here with my heart here uh, and share the knowledge and the experiences and the knowings and the studying that I've been through. You know what I mean? So... So yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Mexico. Got the beach over there. And I'll be sitting there all day in the sun. But yeah, I just wanted to show you these fruits. These fruits that I was talking about. I got a good haul today. So we got the El Tufo mangoes, which are freaking amazing down here in Mexico. I doubt that they irradiate their food because in uh, the U.S. they they definitely irradiate um, anything that's coming from another country. They kind of zap it with the radiation to to kill the kill the bacteria, kill the the viruses, you know. So yeah, so I've never had so many consistently sweet, good. Altufo mangoes, of course avocados. I've been eating, I've been eating quite a bit of avocados lately, to be honest, just to ground with all the things going on in the world. We got these orange juice, these oranges, which I will be making juice with, um, which is just so sweet. It's the golden nectar, the golden nectar. I would prefer just to be on juice here right now. I just feel best on juice, so I do. Um, like even with the watermelon and stuff, I do, um, even if I'm just eating it, I, I spit a lot of the pulp out just because I want to be as light as possible and as, as much of a liquidarian as possible. If I, you know, if I had a juicer if I, or if there was like a legit juice bar that was like really organic and really, really had a good vibe, I would, I would be juicing more, right? So, and, and yeah, it's like, I don't, and I don't like to like buy uh, juices here, like in plastic. That's not my thing, you know, uh, plus like it oxidizes and it's not fresh. So I always like say like, and you got to get fresh, fresh, fresh. You want life. You want life. You see, the thing is, is when you put the, this, these foods that are living in you, then you live, you know what I mean? And that's this, that's just a special thing. That's a special thing. And you, you only discover this once you, um, once you do it. <laughs> once you do it. 
So let me get back to the fruits. So yeah, we got the watermelon, seeded watermelon. We got these mame sapotes, you know. I finally bought one today because I've, I've had so many bad experiences in Costa Rica with them. So many good mames in, uh, in the States. So many good ones, but uh, Costa Rica, they're not good. At least the time I was there. At least the time I was there. The, so I bought some more mames today. I'm stoked on that. Oh my gosh, what a treat. If you haven't had a mame sapote, it's like a pumpkin pie, uh, sweet potato fruit. It's just, it's very good. It's very good. And then over here we have the uh, star apple. Uh, they call it caimito, I believe. And the star apples, oh, they're so good when they're good. Um, and it's hard to find them good. It's, it, it is hard to find them good. And I just tasted one and it was lovely. So I just bought a bunch. Like I feel like the bigger they, they are, the better that they usually are. Because if they're too small, at least in my experience, then they have like a lot of sappy, like jackfruit type, like sap. That's really sticky sap stuff that is, and, and, and it's not like sweet and it's not as gummy like gel like like uh marshmallowy texture like it should be so these things are just so sweet so beautiful so wonderful over there we got coconuts of course that's a staple i could just live on those if i had to and hey <laughs> we'll see i'm not gonna I'm, I'm being very impeccable with my words you know so i uh We'll see, this is a topsy-turvy world, you know, but, and over here, ah, we've got some purple chermoya, like, anonia fruits, which, you know what, I bought three of them, uh, when I first got here at a different place, and they totally didn't ripen, you know, so these were relatively cheap, so I was like, all right, I'm just gonna trust, I, see, the thing is, is, like, most places you want to, if you want to save some money and some hassles and a little bit of uh, frustration, you're going to want to buy most of your stuff ripe unless unless you're very familiar with the places that you go, right? Because guys, they just don't harvest things at the proper times and then stuff doesn't ripen and stuff doesn't get sweet and it's just... It's not the best, right? You want only the best. You want the sweet sugars. So the sugars will um, give you give you life, you know? You know, and the sugars have a lot more calories too, you know? So, um, yeah, I hope this lighting is okay. I wasn't sure about that. But yeah, I've, I've had many great chermoyas, but I've never had these purple anonias, so I'm, I'm freaking stoked on that. So, so yeah, I... I think that's pretty much the, uh, that's pretty much the deal. I wanted to just, uh, shout out to all you warriors on the detox path, all you warriors in the sovereign living, uh, embodying your free, thoughtful and respectful selves. I, I love to see see humanity wake up and boy it ain't pretty at times you know and it's it's <laughs> you know it's really it's really funny that you know that even these people they're writing books about these things and it's on the websites but people they don't seem to care they don't seem to care but yeah we're not dwelling on that no we're not oh i just kicked the mango we're not dwelling on that but uh yeah we're just living we're living our best living our best life and uh we're just shining in abundance and we're just uh we're actively creating the new world the new earth and relinquishing any of the slave self mentality any of the, of the things that have held us back any patterns any um attachments any avoiding anything like that we, this is a good time for all that so hey i'm not going to get into these these uh these uh these rants about uh <laughs> the mind body connection and the uh spiritual spiritual components of this multi-dimensional thing that we have 
but uh, I am gonna say that whoever you are I love you dearly and if you're going through rough times um, it always gets better it always gets better and I, and I uh, yeah like I said I got a I got a lot of love to give and it's, it's here if you guys got questions uh, about the detox let me know but yeah this is just pretty much how I'm doing it in, doing it in Mexico and uh, yeah I have to say like the, the consistency here is is some of the best consistency for fruits in in anywhere I've been it's just it's not always easy to get what you want at that certain day like you might not find the good ripe papaya that day but you'll find other things there's always going to be a, a plethora of nice variety and things that you can enjoy and things that will saturate your cells with nourishment and clear out the mucus you know so if you need help clearing out that mucus you need help uh, clearing away some some weight some extra weight so clearing away some extra uh, trauma and emotions clearing away some things that are um, dis-easing yeah you can heal anything guys you can heal any dis-ease and yeah like a lot of my other videos you can check out I can tell you how I tell you more in depth how you do it there's a lot of different uh, tactics a lot of different modalities you can choose from and and also alternate with in and out of so yeah I just want to be of service and helpful and uh, I hope that, that the lighting is good on this I usually um, yeah, I haven't made a video up here on this roof but I love it up here so uh, much love guys I hope you guys are peaceful I hope you guys are doing well and um, Leone, you are crushing it. You're probably on day 30-something on your juice fest. She's going really hard. And, um, yeah, some of these some of these guys and gals, some of these beings are, are really committed to their deepest growth. So, yeah, shout out to you guys in your wholeness, your wellness, and, um, yeah, always live your best life. Always do your best. Peace.